Hi Aquarius, this is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. This is your reading for uh, December twenty eighth, December eighteenth through the twenty fifth. <laughs> and at least one video, I, I I didn't mess up the date, but I was close. I was close. All right. Uh, please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer private readings. I also offer uh, IET, which is a healing modality, which can help you to move energy, transform energy. And uh, please become a member. Membership allows you to watch these videos commercial free. So I, um, it's the 15th, <clears throat> it's 10 o'clock at night. And my plan is to go through all the signs. You're my fifth, five, five is change. I was in the middle of the video and um, not this video though. I just did, you know, I do them by element. I'm very organized. You know, I'm very, very, I, Aquarius, I think, can be very organized too, you know, very determined and organized. And uh, um, I have Saturn in Aquarius and, uh, you know, I have a lot in Scorpio, I have a Leo moon. So I'm very, very organized and I have Virgo rising. <clears throat> and I usually like to, you know, I do them by element. So I, I pick an element and then I do the three and then I do the three and then, you know, whatever. And I just like to, I like to complete a task completely. I can't do a thousand things at once. I like to do one thing at once, get it done, and then do the next thing. But I was really compelled to do uh, a live video about letting go of resentment. Um, and it's it should be up. Uh, and I feel like, okay, so a lot of times, yeah, I'm compelled to do a video like, you know, uh, for a new moon or a full moon or, you know, weekly, whatever, you know, I they, well, like I have a responsibility to do it and um, to myself and to whoever's watching. But this was like, uh, you know, I don't mean to sound proud, but it felt like this was a service I had to offer immediately. Because, you know, at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I, I, you know, I do these YouTube videos and I, and I share the information that I'm getting. I mean, yeah, I, I want to make some money doing it, but it's also, it's service. And um, I really feel like the sense of service toward it. And it, I, it feels like you might have something this week that comes up that you're compelled to do. And I think that it's really important before you act to really check um, and say, okay, is this um, coming out of my sense of ego or is this coming out of a sense of service? That's the message. That's the message. Because usually the messages are, well, always the messages are exactly what's going on with me. And that's what's going on. I sat, I, I go over there. That's like my little place right there. The love seat. <laughs> and they call it a love seat in Spanish too, but they don't call it like uh Sia de Amor. They just call it love seat. All right. I like those old fashioned ones where they're like, like an S, those are so cool. I mean, they're not very practical, but they're really cool. We have a really big room, it's good. One day I'll have a really big room with all kinds of everything. Can't wait, <laughs> maybe next week. <laughs> My house the end, one, two, three. It really pertains to what I said. It really pertains to what I said. Okay, that's what happens with the cards. It's kind of weird. This is the devil. This is a false path. This is being tied to something that you're not really tied to, but you uh, you have this illusion that you're tied to it. And it could be, you know, sometimes this is, you know, 
I never really understand like this, this whole, oh, the devil made me do it. It's like, no, 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 you did it on your own. You know? <laughs> it's like, oh, well, you know, the devil made me do it. You know, I didn't, I didn't mean to take the money. The devil made me do it. Oh, it, it's out of my hands. I take no responsibility. You know, it's a little bit like that, which is like, no, you took the money. It had nothing to do with the devil. It's like, you know, own up. Okay. And then I have the nine of wands and the nine of wands is, has this feeling of like sort of being trapped and sort of overwhelmed and sort of like, should I, should I fight the fight? Should I let go? But I think you're going to get real clarity suddenly. Oh, upside down. I don't read upside down. Uh, you're going to get real, like an insight, like a, like a little flash of, This is my dark side and I feel really overwhelmed by it and this is and you know what do I need to do to get clear to think in a new way I think you're going to get this flash of um, my ego of your ego and almost being uncomfortable in it almost being like you know, I need to say what I need to say, but do I? Can I say it in a way and can I act it in a way, so to speak, that is of service? That is of service and not get all, not, not go overboard. Um, you see what I mean? Uh, there, there's like there's a certain um, boundary to it. There's a you know you know it, it, there's one thing to like tell somebody how you feel, and then there's another thing. It's like you're always like this, and da 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 da. You know, it, like that's not necessary. That's what I'm getting. Got me. I I, I know you got me. I don't really have to say it. I don't know how to say it. So <laughs> maybe it'll come out further in the reading. And you might feel a little defensive. Okay. But like allow spirit to come in and give you the words. Allow spirit to come in and give you the words. It's like, how can I see this <clears throat> in a way that's comforting? How can I say this in a way that's more um, stable, that's more... Um, Mm, that doesn't go overboard. That doesn't go overboard. Yeah. Yeah, I have all the tools in my disposal, you know, because sometimes, you know, when we tell someone where it's at, it's, it's hard to not, you know, let your ego take over. It's really hard. It's really hard. And, um, I think it's this realization that you of your own power, of your own power, your own power of words and your own power over um, the devil inside of you. That's the realization. And like to keep it in check for your benefit and for everyone else's benefit. Wow. Yeah. You don't have to clobber anyone over the head. Sometimes, you know, less words say more. Yeah. I, I think you're really going to have the opportunity here to really shed light in the dark of your own darkness, right? Maybe shed light of your own darkness on to yourself and on yourself. You know what I mean? And then through that, really like expose for yourself on the inside what this, um, the unhealthy part of your ego, you know, really want, really wants you to go to this place that's really dark and ugly. And it's like, you know, not only will you feel like yucky, 
but you know you make other people feel yucky and then and then you have to like carry that with you it's almost like i can't wash it off it's almost like i can't wash it off but if you say what you need to say in a measured way it's a different animal you know you said what you needed to say in service to yourself service to yourself and service to others but you know you didn't have to you know then call everyone and gossip about you know you didn't have to do any of that like you it could be very clean it could be very clean yeah it's a new path and you know this is really this kind of stuff is really how like evolution this is real evolution of our souls this is like i controlled myself you know i controlled myself and i still you know needed i still got to do what i had to do but i didn't gild the lily so to speak i didn't go above and beyond you know very interesting and and you'll be satisfied you'll be satisfied this is so interesting it's a gift what a gift what a gift wow what a gift what a gift that's what i'm really getting because that's really a gift wow wow i i feel like it, it's real um evolution it's it's real um it's the difference between being a boy and a man that's what it is or a girl and a woman, you know what I mean? You know, it's it's a difference between this, uh, it, it's it's maturing. It, it, it's it's a very um enlightening process, actually. All right. Oh, okay. You have a new opportunity. I'm going to go backwards. You have a new opportunity to use your sword wisely. You know, you feel a little bit overwhelmed and you would like to go into the darkness, but, you know, you have a new way of looking at things. You might feel a little defensive, but you're inviting spirit in to calm you and to give a stable and direct message that will keep you satisfied. It is indeed a gift that your light, the light of your soul is leading you toward new fertility where you realize all the tools that you have and in the eternity of the light, you're able to do what you need to do without really having to lift every tool on the, on the, uh, on the table. Wow. All right. Wow. Blessings. <laughs> <laughs>